T-minus 40 seconds and counting. The external tank heaters on the ET to orbiter structural attachments have been turned off. Orbiter computers have, uh, and we have gone for auto sequence start. T-minus 26 seconds, 25. T-minus 21 seconds, the SRB nozzle gimbal profile underway. T-minus 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. We have a go for main engine start. Seven, six, we have main engine start. Two, one, zero, and liftoff. Velocity now 1,000 feet per second. Atlanta is two miles downrange. Engines now throttling back up to 104% performance. Atlantis velocity now 1,500 feet per second. Atlantis, go at throttle up. Standing by for a separation from the SRBs. Velocity now 2,000 feet per second. Altitude 10 nautical miles. Downrange distance 8 nautical miles. This is Mission Control. All APUs looking good. Three engines at 104%. This is Mission Control, SRB, SEP confirmed, velocity 4,300 feet per second, Atlantis downrange 35 nautical miles at an altitude of 30 nautical miles. Three engines all looking good at 104%. Atlantis on glide slope, on center line, 280 at 8, gust to 16, 7, peak 12 from the right. That uh, last-minute uh, wind information being passed to pilot Ron Graby and Commander Dave Walker. Atlantis now five miles from the runway at a velocity of 500 feet per second, altitude 6,000 feet. Altitude 2,500 feet. And Walker will be taking the vehicle into the pre-flare maneuver, adjusting the glide slope to 1.5 degrees. Landing gear down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Oh, yeah. Nose gear touchdown.
In Atlantis on her final rollout on runway 22 at Edwards. Convoy will be moving into place. It was, of course, previously located at runway 17, but it will be moving over to runway 22 to take care of all the uh, post-landing activity uh, following a safe homecoming. Atlantis, Houston, understand we'll stop. Congratulations and nice landing. You've extended the shuttle's reach far beyond Earth orbit now. Commodore Magellan would approve. Roger that. Thank you, Frank. 